right then. So now in this video, we're using one of the uh, Schmidt gate inverters that we have on this integrated circuit. I wrote number four on uh, my little diagram right here, but I'm actually using number three over there. So this is an old diagram. Uh, for whatever reason, I decided to use four in the video. This is just to discharge the capacitor. I'm going to uh, unplug uh, that. And uh, so capacitor just you can see the output is high right now. The red LED is lit. That resistor goes to the negative supply. So you know the output was coming from the positive. Uh, so it was staying high while the capacitor was charging. That's because uh, we discharged it. Um, so we started off with the capacitor at zero volts at uh, the input. Um, and then, uh, so the output was high, that was charging the capacitor through that 100,000 ohm uh, resistor. Once it got a high enough uh, voltage, the output went low because it's an inverter right there. Um, when the output went low, that discharges the capacitor, lowering its uh, voltage. There's a hysteresis, a middle ground uh, region where it can be in either state. So it uh, goes up to where it's uh, charged high enough to set the output low, then it discharges where it's down low enough to set the output high and keeps bouncing back and forth. So when the uh, blue LED is lit, you can see we got the positive supply. That way you know the output is connected to ground as good as it can go. So we can adjust the value of this resistor and or that capacitor to uh, change the timing. If we want to go faster, we use lower values. If we want to take longer, we use higher values of one or both of them. It's a uh, balancing act and um, called RC time constant. So um, hopefully that makes sense. We'll uh, come to the uh, schematic. And uh, so the integrated circuit we're using, I didn't uh, put the uh, pin layout on here, but it's a 74HC14 right there. Um, so I always check the data sheet for uh, part numbers you're using or are interested in. And you use a feedback here to get the uh, oscillating. So um, these don't usually have A and Y next to them on the schematic, but I add them. So A is input, Y is the output according to one of the data sheets that I used. Uh, maybe like other ones will say X or something, a different brand. But um, in any case, we have the input. Remember, the output wants to be the opposite. So a discharge capacitor close to uh, zero volts right there. It's going to have a high output. So your output's going to be as close to five volts as it can be. So that lights the red LED, uh, but also charges the capacitor, as I said. And, um, oh, this is going slower than I thought, because I'm actually using a 100,000 ohm resistor here. For some reason, I thought that's what I was using. I should have a 10K somewhere on the board. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna yank that. So yeah, we already have that demonstration. I was using the 10K. I gotta kinda squeeze these wires together a little bit. I was using 100K when, um, probably should've used that 10K right there. So yeah, now we're gonna get a lot faster right there. So yeah, that's probably about 10 times faster. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, it, things were kind of shuffling. Uh, it's probably making and breaking uh, connections. Uh, but in any case, there you can see. Uh, 10k resistor it's uh, going faster now because the capacitor is charging faster getting up to the high enough voltage to set the output low and then uh, discharging uh, quick enough to get a, a low enough uh, voltage to set the output high so it's gonna keep bouncing back and forth like that so when the output is low again that's discharging the uh, capacitor but uh, also, we got the blue LED right there. That will light up. The uh, 74HC14 is uh, powerful enough, the output, um, to do uh, both of those. Um, so the timing of them being high and low may not uh, be perfect. Do Sometimes uh, the output can't get high as well as it can get low. You know, it doesn't connect to the positive supply as well as the negative supply. But maybe it is. Um, um, so those are all things you could look into more detail if you were really obsessed with the circuit and its uh, capabilities. But otherwise, um, you know, there's uh, maybe circuits you're using that for some reason use uh, NOT gates. You can use some of the NOT gates for that. And then you could, uh, you know, also have one of the NOT gates used for providing a high-low, uh, you know, you could call this a clock cycle if you want to. There's circuitry that responds every time it goes high or maybe even every time it goes low or something. And, um, you know, so if uh, you have unused uh, NOT gate, maybe you can find another use for it. 
while it's just sitting there. The uh, inputs that you are not using, so that's the higher one, um, there's three pairs over here, uh, input, output, you should tie to either the positive supply or the negative supply to help uh, prevent, you know, stuff going on within the integrated circuit. You give them a solid voltage, then they're not uh, doing anything. Um, the outputs, of course, you don't want to tie to a supply voltage. That would be a short circuit if you connect to the wrong one. And um, so, uh, those are some tips. I usually don't fill them up, though, because uh, then people might be, like, looking at them, like, what's that thing doing? And technically, it's not doing anything exciting that you can really explain, unless you really want to get into all the details of the integrated circuit. So I usually leave them bare for the demonstration circuit, but just be aware, you should add them, but even if you don't, odds are it's probably not going to affect your circuit too bad. It may just be kind of wasting current within the integrated circuit. So, um, yeah, that is uh, about it. The capacitor there, you can see, make sure you go to the negative uh, supply right there. And uh, when you uh, bump, like, my power supply, maybe if you kind of, like, lose connections and stuff, um, you know, that uh, will kind of adjust the voltage that the circuit is getting there. So um, that's why we're getting those really weird flashes. I, I don't actually have a good explanation why it went so much quicker. That's uh, kind of odd. Um, but in uh, any case, this went on long enough. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen. And check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.